All right, we're here with Dima Barsky, and he has a question, and I thought I'd get a little video of that. So my question is, how do you, do you, you specifically, Scott, how do you get uh, your pictures so sharp? Your, your portraits are just amazingly, it's always in focus, and it's, it's right, spot on. How do you do that? Uh, well, I'd say there's a lot of contributing factors that I tend to think about, and that is, well, one is the type of lighting that you have. Just certain types of days, to me, seem to produce sharper types of images because of the type of light that's going out. So I'll use flash a lot. And if I'm kind of getting one of those, like, uh, cloudy, kind of soft days, you know, add in a little bit of flash into there, and it just kind of sharpens things up. And it helps with the lighting, of course. And you were t we were talking about the cannons just a second ago. I think the old uh, the old way of doing things was um, that there wasn't a lot of like focus spots, so you would uh, what were they used to do? You would focus and then recompose. And so at a very sharp, at a very uh, small depth of field, that impacts things quite a bit because it changes the distance away, and even even that small change that he just showed will impact the focus a little bit. So in, in the Nikons, uh, there is kind of a, a directional thing that would help with the, the focus points. And now the 5D3, so if you go in here, yeah. So there's a lot of focus points. You can get as close as you can to it. And then uh, do your little bit of refocusing. Yeah, go ahead and set it down. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, now with the 5D3, and it has a lot more focusing points and it has a nice con uh, directional control. I think it's just a matter of time for people that are in Canon, that have had Canon for years, just to kind of get used to the new way of doing things. Okay. They're very set years of doing it the other way. And that may help. Um, and I also mentioned not trusting the camera too much. Like you focus it, but look with your eyes, make sure it's good. And refocus, refocus, and you, you kind of just get that that feel for, you know, if, is it in focus or not? And then knowing what cameras focus on the best. So if you look out, you got these lines up here, they'll focus on those really well. If you got, like, you're in the sky area, like the, the difference between the dark and the bright areas can work really well. Or if you're on a face, you know, you got glasses, have a good level of contrast. Is that what the camera's looking for is contrast. So right in there, um, if there's a, knowing the difficult problems, if there's a lot of backlight coming in from the subject, well sometimes I have to go and find something lower that's not getting backlit as much, something that has a uh, good contrast, maybe even just like a little, whatever this is, you know, like a little... Strap, camera strap. And, and just realizing is it in the same distance away as their eyes, because I want the eyes to be in focus, but sometimes I don't just go for the eyes because they're too the camera's having too much of a difficulty. So I'll find something the same distance away and and focus on that and lock the focus. Lock, 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 lock the focus all the all the time. I luckily have a little button here that locks the focus. Every single picture I take, I basically get the focus and lock it. And if I change, if I sway back and forth, then I'll have to refocus. Or if they move, I refocus. Or if I, you know, move to a different location, I refocus. I'm refocusing a bunch and locking it each time. And, and being perceptive if things change distance. Uh, and kind of when I'm with couples and stuff like that, and, and there's two of them, well, and I want 1.4 because I want a really blurred out background, I either say, okay, this means I'm just getting one of the couple in focus, and so I exaggerate him out of focus, because it's usually her that's in focus, or I go from it such an angle that they're both going to be in focus if someone's right here. Okay. So I let that dictate my shots. A lot of people are like, how do I get this one in focus? How do I get this shot in focus? I have them posed here, and I say, you don't. You do a different shot. Okay. And, and so some people's mentality, though, is I want this the exact way I want it. And it's just impossible. So you either shoot at a higher aperture or you just work with the shot you got, right? So sometimes if you can't get both people in focus, do you 
like I said, you exaggerate one out of focus completely. Yes. So that it's obvious that you meant it this way. Or I'll turn them, so I'll, yeah. I'll make them go, make her go back that way. And I actually sometimes have to tell them, okay, this lens I'm using is, you know, it matters inches. So put your noses at the same distance away or something to that effect. Okay. And let's see, what else? Um, you know, really knowing how your camera, how your camera works with things. Like it's difficult, pro difficult uh, backlighting or things that don't have texture. Um, you know, knowing that is a big deal and, and kind of working with lighting as well. Okay. What else? Oh, I'll, def I'll try that in our uh, photo walk. Yeah. Uh, street, uh, street shooting for a while. Yeah, what are you going to try then? The, well, all of this. Uh, you know, to try, uh, re, uh, yeah. try not focusing on the center and uh, just you know, moving my... Uh, Get it closer to the side, but you still may have to adjust it. Right. But the closer it is, it means... The closer it is to the subject, to the fo focus point was, was right here, yeah, or yeah. right here. Yeah. But I still wanted to refocus. I could still lock it. I'm not changing the distance away too much. And then notice, maybe start noticing a lot more how um, the different lighting affects how in focus it is. And uh, it is nice on my uh, Nikon, I have this little center button right here that if I tap on it, it will do a 100% view uh, zoom. Mm -hmm. And then tap on it again, it goes back. So I'm able to check focus really quick in, the in seconds. Yeah. So people won't check their focus too often because it's too much of a task. And if you're in a portrait um, setting, that no, you know, those seconds are a big deal. Okay. So if you got a button like that, that's quick. And I don't know if there's a programmable one. I think there may be actually on the on the new camera the programmable one to zoom in, zoom out, so you can get a good view. So on an icon, it, it, this button is uh, you can activate this button in a live view, live view only, or in the actual viewfinder. Well. In the actual review of the picture. A review of the picture. Or yes, in live yes. view, it does okay. it as well. Yeah, yeah. Canon does it. This Canon at least does okay. a similar thing. Yes, I, I don't believe the old ones had that, and the new ones do. So that's something definitely people should uh, go in and program. Well, yeah, go ahead and use that and yeah. and see how that helps you out. But from San Francisco again, Scott Jarvie.